the tropics, both coral and artificial reefs are home to thousands of marine creatures, providing food, support and quite often a hiding place. For all of its inhabitants, the coral reef allows them all to find a source of protection as they strive for survival in the underwater world. Here on Pompom Island in Borneo, this jetty serves as an artificial reef. Small animals typically take up residence first, then as the small inhabitants become abundant, larger fish are attracted, like Charlie the Great Barracuda. Charlie is an apex predator and prefers to live a very solitary life. The jetty provides him with a perfect place to sit in wait. And when hunger strikes once again, Charlie heads to the coral reef to hunt. Many fish species use camouflage as a way to survive. This ornate ghost pipefish is a master of disguise due to its incredible ability to blend into its surroundings. They tend to take up residence amongst feather stars and spend much of their time upside down. The ornate ghost pipefish feeds on tiny crustaceans sucked up inside by their long snout. The crocodile fish is an ambush predator, using camouflage to both protect itself and ambush their prey. The rubble substrates in which they take up home serves as an ideal hiding place. The rough and mottled nature of the substrate quite often mimics the pattern of the fish. Similarly, the scorpion fish is also an ambush predator. However, they differ in that they have two types of defence mechanisms. Firstly, with the ability to stay perfectly still, their coloration and texture allows them to resemble a rock. And if they do get spotted by a predator, they can flash their venomous spines in an effort to deter them away. In keeping with its disguise, this warty frogfish moves slowly as it clambers over the sea bottom. His skin texture, along with his stocky and slightly unusual appearance, is designed to conceal it from predators and mimic a potential meal to its prey. Found in the Celebus Sea, just off Pom Pom Island, is an unusual species of nudibranch called the Miyamira eleni. Whilst most of its relatives use only toxins to defend themselves, this Miyamira eleni is also able to cleverly disguise itself in the form of soft coral. With its main source of food being sponges and soft corals, it provides itself with the perfect camouflage to fool both its predators and prey. If you have seen one nudibranch, you certainly have not seen them all. With over 3,000 species so far, and new ones continuously being discovered, they come in a wide variety of colours and shapes. Dorid nudibranchs, such as this Hypsilodorus bolocchi and the Hypsilodorus apolegma, all make their own toxins or absorb toxins from their food. Many nudibranchs, like this Nembrotha malari, also use their rhinophores on the head as scent receptors, allowing them to smell their food. The shocking coloration in this Chromodorus also serves as a warning sign of the poison that lies within. The lionfish is one of the few of the reef's inhabitants that are very little known predators. This is largely due to the effectiveness of their venomous spines. Preying on small fish and invertebrates, lionfish are skilled hunters. They wait patiently as they hide in crevices formed by the reef. And when the time is right, they use their large pectoral fins to corner their food 
and swallow it whole. Green sea turtles have been roaming our tropical seas for millions of years. They are often spotted along coral reefs as they use the sharp serrated edges of the coral as scratching posts. The green sea turtle gets its name from the green colour of fat under its shell. This bony outer shell acts as a coat of armour and is considered the most highly developed protective armour of any vertebrate species to have ever lived. And since they are not exactly known for their top speed, this proves as an essential asset in their quest to survive. The shell is mostly dark brown, however it is common for them to be covered with patches of algae. This striped remora takes full advantage, catching a free ride and feeding off the unwanted plant. Their perfectly streamlined shell allows them to swim gracefully through the water, giving them the ability to migrate long distances in a relatively short space of time. For all of the sea's inhabitants, survival proves a constant struggle, as every moment is dealt with finding food and protecting themselves. But even with very little known about the underwater world, one thing is for certain, with the refuge of the coral reef, their plight to survive is made far more easier.